Good morning everyone, this is Dr. Madhu and I am here to talk about the scoliosis, like what is the guidelines for testing and diagnosis of scoliosis. So scoliosis is like abnormal curvature spine, so what you can do, like if patient present with the history, like they are saying this patient, like the parents are saying this patient have abnormal curvature of spine, then what you can do is first you do the scoliometry. Like scoliometry you do like put a scoliometer on the back of the like spine and then, then you check for like the angle of that like particularly spines. If the angle is like below 7 then you rule out the scoliosis and if it is above 7 then you can do the x-ray. So first test of choice for scoliosis is the scoliometry. If angle is below 7, rule out the scoliosis. If it is above, then you do the x-ray. So the x-ray indication for scoliosis should be scoliometer angle more than 7. If you do, like if a patient present with the abnormal curvature, then you do, you do the scoliometer and you find angle above 7, then you do the x-ray. And x-ray you do like we can find like in x-ray we can do what like we measure the angle of like upper cervical and the lumbar and then you measure both of them so so what we can do is like we find a curve angle so first we did the scoliometer angle above 7 then you do x-ray and x-ray you find a curve angle if curve angle below 10 you rule out the scoliosis like you rule out the scoliosis then you can look for like if patient if patient develops symptoms of like in neurology like radicular pain then you can like taste further taste but if patient if patient do not have any kind of neurologic symptom then you just observe the patient and the second option like if patient have like going above 40 then you directly do what you do the surgery or you may need a surgical consultation but if angle is between 10 and 40 then what you can do is like you like contact with the, the rheumatologist because they apply the braces you know the brace apply in the th like this spine and the brace can help to maintain the angle and so this is all about the scoliosis like first indication is first test is scoliometer scoliometry if angle below 7 do you rule out if angle above 7 you do x-ray and x-ray if comb angle below 10 you rule out the scoliosis and look for if patient if patient have patient developed like neurologic symptoms or not if angle is above 40 you directly do the surgery if angle is in between 10 40 patient may need braces okay so this is all about the scoliosis and see you on the next video